My name is Lexi Phelps and I manage the chef program at the San Antonio Botanical Garden. Today I'm in the chef teaching kitchen and I'll be showing you how to make cauliflower mac and cheese, which is a super simple recipe that you can do with your family. As a partner of Chef, we use the Chef curriculum to teach a variety of cooking classes here at the Botanical Garden. Before we get started, I want to stress the importance of washing your hands when handling, making, or eating food. You want to wash your hands with soap and water to prevent the spread of germs. Let's get started. First, we're going to make our sauce. So I already have the cauliflower and the garlic ready to go. Then we're going to add our milk, our dry mustard, our onion powder, cayenne, some Parmesan cheese, and last but not least, some cheddar cheese. Then we want to blend all of the ingredients together until smooth. We want to make sure it's very smooth because we don't want to have any chunks in our mac and cheese. All right, now we're gonna work on our breadcrumb mixture. First, to an empty bowl, we'll add our breadcrumbs. Then we're gonna add some fresh parsley, nice and chopped from the garden. Then we'll add Parmesan cheese, and a little bit of black pepper. And then we wanna mix all of the ingredients together until they're nice and evenly dispersed. So the pasta is already cooked and ready to go. So all, now all we need to do is combine all of the ingredients together. So first we're gonna add some of our sauce to the cooked noodles. And then once we have it in there, we wanna mix it all together so that all of the noodles are nice and evenly coated. Mix it all together. And then once we have a nice mixture here, we're gonna take our breadcrumb mixture and sprinkle it on top. Make sure it's nice and flat before you put on the breadcrumb mixture. All right. Then we'll sprinkle the mixture on top, just like this, and we want to make sure that the top of the dish is completely covered. All right. Then we'll put our mac and cheese, which is all ready to go, in the oven. We're going to put it in for about 10 minutes at 350 degrees, and then it'll be ready to eat. We hope you enjoyed this chef recipe demonstration. If you'd like to try this recipe at home, you can find the recipe at sabot.org. And for more family-friendly recipes, check out chefsa.org. Thanks for watching.